Hi guys, 13 Diamond Creep reporting in, and welcome back to another Ratchet Clank Up Your Arsenal video. In the last episode, we completed most of Planet, or we got most of Hollow Star Studios done, and and now we have to find Rat uh, Clank that was kidnapped. All right, so we gotta find Clank, and oh, there's more of those laser guys, and uh oh, I'm getting attacked here. Take that. There we go, and I uh, hear. And before we do that, we got we upgrade our blade, our blade disc gun to V2. And I hear a dropship, but don't worry, that's not gonna stand in my way too much longer, which is good. <laughs> wow, close. All right, there we go there we go, and Frector. There we go. And yeah, the annihilator will be useful useful here. There we go. That did good. There we go. The three guys that come out of that door and that was a, such a surprise. Well really wasn't much of a surprise. And here we are going to another hollow star another studio that's a big city, but if we press this button. We can change the we can change the uh, weather theme, and I love snow. <laughs> and here we are upgrading it, upgrading the annihilator to V4. Right, that was a lock-on mod we obtained. There we go, and there we go, and look at there's our ship. Let's get we'll see what happens here. Frank, where have you been? I thought something happened to you. I was having my sprockets lube. You picked a fine time for a tune-up. Where's Courtney Gears? Miss Gears has left the planet. What? Well, what about Nefarious? Did she tell you where he is? Dr. Nefarious is aboard a star cruiser called the Leviathan. Um, okay. Nice job, Clank. So, I'll just call Sasha and have her track down that star cruiser. Uh-oh. That's not good. That that's just that, that's very fishy. I've never seen Clank do that before. So let's enter our ship and see what yeah, happens. Dudes. Hey Skid, how's the stakeout going? Awesome. A few minutes ago, this totally tricked out space limo rose up, and dude, you won't believe who was in it. Courtney Gears. Oh, were you spotted? No way, man. I've been staying out of sight, keeping a low profile. I'm like a shadow, dude. And you're sure it was her? Totally. She even autographed my t-shirt. Do oh. you know how much this thing is worth? Skid, get out of there. Hold on a sec, bro. Somebody's coming. Hey, if you dudes are here about the shirt, the bidding starts at 300 volts. Whoa, chill out, man. Hey! Skid's in trouble. We better get back to the Obani moons. Oh, no. So apparently Skid McMark's been kidnapped. But before we do that, we gotta do some big comics. And I forgot to do the second and third one. Don't worry, we'll cover that right now. Here we go, flying through space. It's a wonderful place. And here we are, back at our Enterprise. Or the Starship Phoenix. <laughs> here we are. Alright, so... I heard somebody has the latest vid comic in the Quark versus Nefarious series. Would that somebody hurry up and finish it already? Don't worry, Al. I'll do it. So let's do the second one. And and it'll load up in just a second. Quark comic episode two. Ariba Amoeba. A new evil was gathering in the shadowy swamps of Blackwater City. A horrific breed of monsters known as Amoeboids, born in the laboratories of a twisted scientist named Dr. Nefarious. To think, they called me insane. 
Lawrence. We'll see who's insane when my pets have exterminated all life on this miserable planet. Well, that should clear things right up, sir. When Captain Quark encountered the Amoeboids for the first time, he immediately executed emergency response plan number two. Hey, wait just a minute. Quark then proceeded to stall for time while he coordinated the city's defenses from the women's restroom at Galaxy Burger. Give me that thing, you lying, no good. Oh. Right. Now, where were we? The moment I touched down, I knew the situation called for a head-on assault. Without hesitation, I rushed to do heroic battle with the monstrous amoeboid whore. All right. Let's do it. Okay, and there's another Amity, Amoeboids, plus those guys from Ratchet and Clank 1, those little hazmats. Alright, uh oh! Yep, I heard that one. There we go, and now this black. So, Captain Cork's blaster is now a. Woo! Captain Cork's blaster is a big flamethrower, miniature flamethrower. Um, but the controls are just about the same as you would do with Ratchet, and don't worry, I'll get all the, uh, coins or the tokens when we get, when we're getting the gold, the bolts. Not golden bolts, titanium bolts. <laughs> there we go, that's the right way. There we go, jump. Okay, there we go. Okay, jump. There we go. There. I'm just gonna keep going. There we go. Get that. Get that hazmat dude. And any more of those icky balls? Oh, those uh, goo balls. And if you hit them, they will hurt you or get some damage or uh, blah 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 blah. And deal some damage to you. There we go. That's the right term. Jump up. Whoa. There, jump, jump. Okay. Making some good time here. Making excellent time. There we go. Let's jump up here. And I wonder what's up here. I bet you this will be the final spot. And yes, it is. Plus, we got a skill point. And the skill point was a new quark wrecker. And you have to beat it this one under 2 minutes and 10 seconds. And that's a good record. There we go. And... <laughs> takes a little while to process, I recognize. <laughs> it's alright. His amoeboid army defeated. Dr. Nefarious had no choice but to flee Blackwater City in disgrace. Do not seem the last to me. I will have my vengeance if it takes a thousand years! <laughs> Dr. Nefarious was right about one thing. He and Quark would meet again. And soon when he realized, for a true hero like Captain Quark, will stop at nothing in the name of justice. <laughs> what? I held my breath. <laughs> Maybe a little too long. Alright, let's do Shadow of the Robot. That's just the third vid comic. We got that in a couple one uh, episode ago. Two episodes ago, I think. Here we go. And here we are with episode three of the Episode three. Shadow of the Robot. For six days, Captain Quark clung to the ship like the dung of a giant green space bird. Finally, the ship arrived at its destination. A secret robotic laboratory on planet Magmos. Drawing on his mastery of the ancient art of disguise, Quark slipped into the laboratory completely undetected. Somebody up to... <coughs> Somebody ordered pizza? Quark's plan was flawless. But unbeknownst to our hero, his every move was being watched. The famous Captain Quark couldn't possibly be this stupid. Could he? Even drooling imbeciles can achieve success in certain fields, sir. 
Mad science, for example. Shall I have him annihilated then? Let him come to us. I'll have a special surprise waiting for him. <laughs> Uh-oh, that's not good. There's a new Amity robot. There we go. These guys can shoot and with their rocket blasters. Let's get going. Oh! It's okay. We can get more cork tokens later. You can shoot those things that are throwing tires at you. But you can't hit the tires. Otherwise, you will get some d damage dealt to you. And the thing only takes one unit of health, which is all right. There we go. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, oh, there we go. By shooting all those helicopters, we got the we got the the free uh, key out. There we go. That guy is done. Gonna take some damage, that's alright. Okay, took another damage. Alright. Oh, didn't shoot the spawner. Oh, okay, I'm moving, that's not good. That aha, got you back. Alright, here's the fun. Alright, oh wow, we got through this very fast. Woohoo! We're here we go. And here we are, and here we are. We got to the save point, and we got another skill point. Two skill points, very convenient. And I think we had to beat this vid, you have to beat this vid comic in one minute and 40 seconds. And we beat it in one minute and 37 seconds, which is a good record. And let's wait for the... Oh no! So apparently Captain Quark bullied Nefarious as a kid, and now he's a robot because he threw him into a machine, I guess, or I guess. And now we're gonna be doing the Obani Direcco, um, and we got to find Skid because remember he got kidnapped, and that's what we're gonna do in the next episode. Okay, guys, that is all I got for this episode. If you really liked the episode, please hit the double like button. I know no such one, but hit it anyways. If you really liked the episode, please hit the comments button. Share if you like it. That's okay by me. Subscribe to the channel if I can see more videos like this. You'll see them on your homepage. If you subscribe, that would help out the channel a whole bunch. And if you, if you have any uh, suggestions, leave them down in the comments box below. But that is all I got for this Ratchet & Clank 3 episode. And I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.